Hey everyone, Tony Dragon here, and I am excited. We are reacting to One Punch Man vs. Superman. Again. But different people though. One Minute Melee, Season 3 Finale. Yeah, this is finale work, guys. This is what I'm talking, this is what a finale should be. These are the kind of opponents I seek in, in a premiere or finale of any sort of series. You know, you gotta go big, epic, and bold. Um... And this is bold. I mean, you're taking a huge risk. Uh, one Minute Melee, One Punch Man and Superman are two very beloved characters. Um, the last one I saw that was actually like really well made was by Mighty Raccoon. And it was vote based. So there wasn't that much chance for hatred on that one. Because if you, the character you wanted did not win, you can only really blame yourself because you didn't go out and vote. Ah, man, I got a nitchy nose. Why? I really hate that. Hope it doesn't bother me throughout the fight. But, uh, yeah. Um, I think this is technically a continuation from Goku versus Sonic. Now, that one was an April Fool's joke. Because uh, Goku just kind of like ignored Sonic and went on a whole tirade across the city attacking Godzilla, the Avengers, um... In the Death Star, and it ended up with him being killed off by Saitama, One Punch Man, and then Saitama, while he's walking away, uh, a laser beam hits him in the back of the head, and he's just scratching, like, who's doing that? And he just turns back, and all you see is the red cape, and it was the end. It was just like, there we are sitting there thinking this whole thing's gonna be nothing but a joke video, but then it ends with, like, whoa, 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 can it be? Can it possibly be? And now it is. We're seeing it. Saitama vs. Superman. Um, this is huge. This is really big. Um, because as much as I love Mighty Raccoon, that one I don't think had the amount of... Um, uh, what's the word? Eh, it didn't have the amount of viewership, I suppose that these two big names should be probably bringing in. To be fair, Batman is the more popular DC character, and One Punch Man is relatively kept to the anime community. As big as he is in America, he's still kind of kept in his own little box over there. So I'm hoping like One Minute Melee will be able to you know, bring in some more audience to One Punch Man and Superman at the same time. Because while I am not the biggest fan of Superman, I can really see the appeal and can understand why there are a lot of people who really like Superman. And in fact, I agree with them with many aspects of Superman. You know, because sometimes the writers really don't get him right. When they give, give him nothing but powers and powers and powers, it makes him a boring character. It's just like he can solve anything with the blink of an eye so it's like where's the you know where's the appeal you know some would say it's not really about the fighting of the criminals and it's just really about his interactions with humanity and again that's true but when most of the stories are fighting criminals you gotta be able to make that interesting as well you know because if it's gonna be there you know at all then might as well make it good too right I try to make the whole meal the taste of taste delicious, you know, not, don't make just the steak taste delicious, but then the mashed potatoes taste like shit, it's like, yeah, I love the steak, but, you know, I don't want it mixed in with the shit, the potatoes, the potatoes are kind of ruining the steak, um, but, um, going off board, uh, off track here, um, who do I think will win, now, this is not voting based, and this is not really analysis based, and it's only one minute, so, uh, Superman is powerful, but One Punch Man, here's the thing about it. Saitama, as much as I love him as a superhero, as much as I love him as a character, I realize at the end of the day, he's a gag character. Meaning, he's not meant to lose because that would ruin the joke. Superman is allowed to lose because the point of him is to be able to show off a godlike figure try to become more human or at least fit in with humanity meaning he should be able to allow be allowed to feel failure and loss otherwise 
you know, he would never be able to experience what it is to be human. He would never be actually, you know, fitting into the human society. Because we are a society based off failure. We learn from our mistakes and we grow from them. Saitama, on the other hand, is so powerful because that's the joke. He's not meant to lose. So I'm hoping One Minute Melee sticks to that. They realize this because I don't want them just picking random characters because of popularity and, you know, thinking they can do whatever they want. You know, I, even though there's no analysis, I want One Minute Melee to really actually put some thought into this because, again, not only is this two well-beloved characters being pitted against each other, this is a finale. This should be, like, their best their best work, their best foot forward, top quality, you know, all of their talent put into this. So, you know, that, I guess that would mean one, you know, Saitama would win, though. So, you know, just, again, that's why I think as much as I love seeing these, you know, One Punch Man versus Superman, One Punch Man versus this, One Punch Man versus that, I have to realize that's not very interesting because, you know, either one, Saitama wins, which would be expected because he's not meant to lose, or he loses, and the people who made, you know, made the show, or made the fight in the first place, you know, just don't understand the point of the character, and they just did it to get views. So, either way, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be, like, not as impressive an episode as any other, you know, fighting, as any other episode that One Minute Melee, Death Battle, uh, Mighty Raccoon could have done because they had a character, they had a character that, you know, they they just couldn't, you know, up, up, um, apply properly into this sort of format. So again, I'm excited for this. I'm gonna I'm gonna see it, and I'm probably gonna be screaming like a little fangirl the whole time. Like, Yay! Um. But, you know, one way or another, I'm not going to fully enjoy the ending because, you know, either way it's going to go wrong with the, with Saitama involved, at least in this type of format. So, uh, but I'm going to enjoy the fight anyway because I'm just a big fan of fights. I'm a big fan of both these characters and I'm a big fan of women in Melee, so... Um, although if I remember, yeah, One Minute Melee does ask that I don't show the whole video. So, we'll see what I edit it in or edit out, so, we'll see. So, starting the video in 3, 2, 1. Yeah, I like that little disclaimer that Tom's like, look, we did no research, no analysis, so if your character doesn't win... We're sorry, but, you know, that's just how it goes. They're trying to, you know, kind of defend themselves. Uh, watching people is hard. The hell's up listening for a change? Okay, you're paying for that wall. What aliens are nice. We fight in this great audio book called Arnetta from Audible. I always love these commercials of theirs. Are they also invading for real? I don't know. Go outside and fight up for once, you lazy stick figure. Huh? Don't quiet down. I have neighbors! Well, how to neighbor? There's a hole in your wall. Did you know that Audible.com is offering a 30-day free trial and free audiobook to the fans of One Minute Melee? Cool. I believe now. All you have to do is go to Audible.com slash M-E-L-E-E -E -E and you can listen to the unmet selection. These are probably the best commercials for anything that I've seen on all of YouTube. For a second, I thought that was Nicolas Cage. Hey guys, get out of ball. I read this book for you. Say, oh no. Alright. Here we go. What? This battle will not be timed. Now pay your fine, or it's all 
Holy shit. Did I read that right? Here's where we left off, Goku versus Sonic. Profit. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> nice. Oh. -ho! Saitama's like happy. Woo! The, shit, the whole city should have just been leveled after that. Oh, okay, a smoke screen, alright. Super speed, come on. Woo! Oh, I see our blurs. Yellow and blue blurs. I'm the red blur. No one cares, Flash. <laughs> nice. I love the animations for this. This is so good. That's true. Saitama isn't the uh, isn't the greatest when it comes to mental ability. <laughs> That's why I'll say that he's we he's the weakest. Neither of them are bleeding, so then again, I don't think bleeding will be able to be shown in this kind of animation. Oh, nice! <laughs> Clearing the clouds. Oh my god, craters everywhere! <laughs> So I, it feels like so far the only one who's taking this fight seriously is Superman. Like Saitama still hasn't really actually tried his best. That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, so the solar flare, the, that big explosion. Is this the new 52 Superman though that will become fully human for 24 hours? Oh. That's actually kind of sad now. Oh, 
it was in the public. Yeah, Goku did that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's like, Tom, you're on fire. <laughs> Caped Baldy. Oh, I like that. Caped Baldy. There goes Cape Baldy into the sunset. <laughs> uh, if, you, if you know the show, um, that's what he's called amongst the other heroes. He lives in a universe with a bunch of other superheroes, and each one again, each one of them gets like a, each one of them gets like a superhero name, and Saitama's just ended up being Cape Baldy because it was the easiest way to associate uh, Zack, episode animator, nice job, and another animator, Tyler, nice again, nice job, buddy. Uh, okay, so many animators. All right, okay. Uh, the thing, this thing is, okay, Glay, Aquila, Warren, wow, a lot of Saitama sprites. Season 4 debut is going to be a rematch again between Akuma and uh, Kenpachi. Hey guys, Hello? The well, really well done, guys. Alright. Cool. Thank you. Alright, so. Um, some people may not be happy with this because there was no clear winner. In fact, there might even be some hardcore one minute melee fans who hate that there was it was you know no time limit because you know their argument would be like this isn't really one minute melee because it was it was more than one minute you know so you know and there are those people out there you know there are those you know die hard guys I've seen a few of them um, but honestly. I think One Minute Melee was just huge fans of both Saitama and Superman, and they saw this chance, you know, just like, hey, we want to create a great fight between these two characters. We're going to do what we want because we love them both. We want to see both of them in the top form, go at it, some great action sequences, and that's what they gave us. Uh, if, if you want to say it's not really a One Minute Melee fight, then fine, go ahead. But I'm still going to consider it a, a damn good fight in general because it really was. I think this was the best solution because not having a clear winner, you know, not only do you kind of preserve both the characters, but you kind of, again, you take advantage of the fact that you're putting more story into these, you know, these fights. Um, because not all, was this, this was a continuation from a joke video, and they managed to turn that around and actually turn it into a serious story. You know, Goku going crazy around killing people and destroying the city like a freaking maniac. Um, and Saitama having to take the blame for all of it because Superman wasn't there to see it happen. Um, which, again, if you know the anime, even the manga, you'll see that that happens a lot. Saitama just ends up, you know, in the wrong situation at the wrong time. And he gets either blamed for, you know, the event or does not get any recognition, recognition for, you know, saving people. Because there have been many times... Where he saved the whole city, the whole world, and no one was there to see it. You know, so that's why, in, again, if you look at the dialogue, he's considered B-class. Uh, there's C-class, B-class, A-class, S-class. Though officially, if you look at the manga, there are D and F-class. 
you know, they're just, they're just not put into the anime because I guess they just want to focus on, you know, seeing above. Um, but yeah, he is B class, which is considered at best average. They're the ones who go after, like, I suppose maybe more organized criminals, uh, technically, but, you know, because Saitama is so powerful, he's able to manage to take on some S class, A class, you know, uh, you know, type of villains. You know, um, but yeah, he, again, he's usually not, uh, you know, rewarded for his efforts because no one's ever there to actually confirm, you know, he actually did it. Uh, but somehow there always seemed to be times where people were there when some shit went down and Saitama was the only one, you know, left there, so he'd take on the blame. Uh, so, and, you know, it, it's a nice little, uh, you know, tidbit to know for the, you know, going into this fight. You know, just uh, because they're adding this kind of uh, dynamic to the characters for, uh, you know, for for the battle between Superman and One Punch Man. Um, but yeah, it did really seem like Superman was at the disadvantage, wasn't it? You know, the whole time he was just kind of uh, trying his best and Saitama was just like, This is fun! <laughs> this is fun! Yay! <laughs> Uh, I, I feel like maybe if Superman maybe went towards the sun and absorbed some of the rays, he would probably have been, you know, strong enough to actually do some major damage to Saitama and actually be, like, an actual match. Saitama actually taking some damage and just, like, being like, whoa, okay, I should probably to be taking this more seriously. Um, or maybe he tried to, could try to launch Saitama towards its space because there's no con confirmation that Saitama can breathe in space. He can survive the vacuum of space because he was sent to the moon at one point and he just like stood back right back up and just like, oh, I'm on the moon. However, he was holding his breath. Now, the difficult thing to decipher about that is he's, he held his breath because I think he's never actually been to the moon. He's never been in space. So he, you don't usually go into space and, you know, even if you have the great power, would you really take the risk of trying to breathe in space only to end up dying? You know, it's kind of, it's a, it's a coin flip. On one hand, you might be powerful enough to survive breathing in space, but on the other hand, if you can't, you'll, you'll die. I'm just like, well, shit, I had all this power and I didn't get to use it because I wanted to test out if I can survive in space. <laughs> you know, uh, bad luck, Brian. Um... So yeah, uh, I can see you know how some people probably won't like this episode, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> I loved it a lot. I mean, great animation, great dialogue, great characters. You know, at least a great rep representation of the characters, and uh, overall, just just an amazing fight. It was just an amazing fight. You know, one minute melee. You know, all the all the crew. You know, all the animators, the writers. You know. Hewn's Dojo, you know, great job, great job, just great. You know, you have my, you, you have my adoration. This, this is, this is exciting. I thank you a lot for this. Um, because I'm probably gonna be adding this to my long list of favorite battles, favorite you know animations on YouTube of all time, because it was really just that good. So. Anyway, I guess uh, season four will be uh, Kuma versus uh, Skenpachi again, because I think I think a lot of people are uh, are still upset about that one because Kenpachi, again, if you read the manga and the anime or watch the anime, you can see that Kenpachi really is again a real powerhouse. Akuma, I don't know much about Akuma. I mean, I do know the basics, but I don't know enough to say that he would be a good match for Kenpachi. Because from what I do know of Kenpachi, Kenpachi is a fucking monster. So, yeah, the last couple times he's been losing just felt kind of off, even for me. So, I mean, I wasn't upset. And, I mean, honestly, I'm not the, that big of a fan. But, you know, I can understand why some people would be upset with that fight. So, yeah, that'll be... That will be an uh, interesting way of, uh, I, I would say, ending because I don't know if they can pull off the, that fight even more. I mean, a third time is, you know, even a second time is okay, but a third time is just kind of like, okay, you're 
reaching the limit there. So anyway, yeah, the next time will be that. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm Tony Dragon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.